The owner proceeds to tell me that they don't have black women working here because the black girls all get sugar daddies and end up quitting. It's no reason why you should be a young pretty girl in Atlanta and you struggling and you not making any money and you out here, like I said, popping pussy for someone who can't even afford to pay your rent every month. It's no reason you should be doing that. So how do you feel about women being pick me's? I feel like you got to be a pick me. You got to put yourself out there. That's how you get a man and keep a man. Because at the end of the day, when you not, it's just like you in the same circle of getting picked and then drop back in the streets. And it's very much given passed around. I like your thought process on that. I really like the way you think. Thank you. I don't like how it is now because it's like everybody is dating for something. Nobody's dating genuinely because they want to get to know somebody and build a future with them. It's like, no, do you got money? Mm -hmm. Can you buy me this? Can you buy me that? And it's just like, can you go make your own money, bum? First, <laughs> first, talk about it. first of all, so that you can date who you really want to date. Because at the end of the day, you don't waste all that time trying to find somebody to finance you when you could have been financing yourself. Ooh. Putting that energy into yourself because that's energy you dishing out trying to get money from other people, and that's what's out here in the world. That's all you hear now. First of all, I've never, I'm looking at all three cameras when I say this, I've never <laughs> ever have visited a fucking city to where a large majority, like Atlanta, a lot of people are looking to get their rent paid. And it's actually fucking crazy. Bro. Absolutely crazy. Long time ago when I first moved here, bro, this shit blew my fucking mind. I was laying in bed with some girl, bro. Mm. Mid laying in bed, as I'm about to go to sleep, she says, why the fuck am I even here? I said, man, hold on. Wait. What out. you mean? Like, uh -huh. what you mean? She was like, I came all the way to your crib and I could have been with some niggas that was at the club just now that had Richard Millie's and, and, and they were going to pay my rent. I said, yo, if you want to go, like, you can go. So she, that was an alley-oop for me to pay her rent. How long did I know each other? Did she, wait, did she, bro, wait, did she I, bro, I barely know this bitch, bro. Did she, did she go or did she stay? No, she stayed. She definitely stayed. Oh. You feel what I'm saying? But that's one time. There was another time that was fucking hilarious to me. Uh -huh. I, I got into a heated argument one time with a girl because she wanted me to pay for her nails and her hair. Mm. And I just couldn't. She said, if you drive off right now, we're done. I put my shit in sports. <laughs> 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 I put my shit in Sports Plus and got a body. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God, right, bro. Got up out of there. You could nails in the hair. Bro, I'm not doing that, bro, unless you my girl. Young dude. Well, successful young dude. You know, that was Kai Sinat, however you pronounce his name. Real successful dude. Popular streamer. And this happens, guys. And this is the culture this is the culture where women feel because they have attractive buns and they invest in buns get bbls they move to these cities especially atlanta where you know, everybody thinks they're a celebrity and i'm gonna get into some clips here shortly but she feels like she no longer has to work why should i work and i know this guy's a popular streamer i just left the club with some ball or so on and so forth guys don't let these women ish test you don't let them if they challenge you Hey, baby, go for it. I'm not on that type of time. And a lot of these women have no problem immediately asking you to do these things. Like he said, to pay my rent. This is a common thing. Pay my rent. Nobody wants to pay their own rent. They think they can get a dude. And it's like most people are struggling. Baby, you struggling. And then you're going to say, why am I here? And I'll get into that. I was going to say, I had a woman say that to me. This was like years ago when I was much younger. She invited me over to her crib. I think she was staying with her cousin. And everything was cool. We got in the bed. And she was like, are you about to leave? And I was like, you know, I thought we was, we know, I got to work tomorrow. Da, da, da. And you ain't paying no bills around here, blah, 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 blah. And she just let me know what type of time she was on. And so either you with it or you not, guys. So let's get on to these next clips here and see what's going on. Let's go. Another thing they say about Atlanta is that nobody got a job. <laughs> nobody. nobody That's do. why the traffic is so bad at 12 p.m. I'd be like, y'all no, not yeah. working. They why don't. are y'all in home goods with me right now? <laughs> Go the fuck to work. Nobody got a real job here. No one's working on 9 to 5. Really big, though. That's the truth. are out 24-7. I'll be like, damn. That's like, That's why it's always packed because nobody want to work a regular job. I mean, I don't either. Right. So, I mean, <laughs> I, I just Listen, guys. Women ain't trying to do none of that. A lot of these women that are there, they, they just want to get a quick come up just to compete with other women, not investing in anything long term. If you just hustling to get your rent paid, 
What does that say about you when you get older? The whole plan is I don't have a plan. I want to look like I got some money. I want to act like I got some money. I want a hustler, baller, scammer, whatever have you. And that's just the way my life is supposed to be. I can't see myself in my mid to late 30s other than maybe having a kid or two if she don't already have kids and being with a wealthy man and taking trips and flying out. That's the whole idea about the way things should be. I don't know, but we got one last clip, guys, and let's jump into this and see what she talk about. So I took my girls out to Blue Martini for brunch, and as we sat down and we began to look around, I realized, why do you not have any black staff? The only black staff you have is the security, a few security guards, um, zero black women working there. So I asked the owners, hey, just wondering why you have a bunch of you know black women in here supporting your business, but none making money in your business. Like this is Atlanta, the blackest city in the country. I'm sure that you could have black women on your staff. The owner proceeds to tell me that they don't have black women working here because the black Black girls all get sugar daddies and end up quitting. Um, that's the owners over there. Um, they were talking shit about us. They were making snark remarks. You see them over there. He was like being super condescending. So I offered to like educate them on why it's offensive that the only black woman you have working here is security. And even offered as an influencer to help them diversify their staff. The only time in Atlanta you see non-black people in an entirety in the staff is at a cultural restaurant, like an, an Asian restaurant, understandably. But this is an American concept lounge with black women supporting it. So y'all go apply for a job and help them. I would say the arrogance and entitlement as an influencer, I could help you diversify. Don't you think they know how to hire folks? Ladies, people run their establishment how they want to run their establishment. If they're noticing certain behavior patterns, whether it be black woman, white woman, then they're going to stick to that. Generalizations tend to be true. And if they're noticing that, you say how you got this information that they're there because I guess there's some high profile ballers, successful folks, women will go there. A lot of waitresses, so you got some that are trying to find a dude. You got some that are trying to make quick money. And you just have some that are trying to make it through college. Same thing with booty clappers. Some of them are long-term waitresses that just like food and bev participating in that. But I just think it's funny, you know, this whole blue martini situation, she's blasting them. And the fact that these guys feel like <laughs> black women don't like to work. According to this is what they're saying here. But they do have a security guard. I just think it's weird overall. Everybody can't be a baller. Everybody trying to keep up with who's on social media and feel like your life should be the same. Not everybody's a boss. Some people have to be employees at the end of the day, and that's just what it is. Just be humble. Try to make it. The whole thing, what the lady said earlier about trying to find love, you have to settle for whatever. A lot of things, like I said, money is the greatest equalizer. I always talk about this. Guys be saying your looks matter. JR, it's all about my looks. No, it's all about that money, how much money you have. The same thing. You'll attract a certain woman, and she's attracted to a certain thing. So it goes hand in hand. She likes gold diggers. Some women are gold diggers. When you got money, women are going to follow the money. That's just what it is. But shout out to Atlanta. This is a funny series here. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Much blessings and abundance. Listen, I'm the best. Hit that like button. Let's run it up to 200,000. Hit that subscribe button. This is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace.